Ooh, this is Weatherford. Live look. Getting a lot of reports in these areas of some of the ice kind of accreting or accumulating on some of the elevated surfaces. So uh, things like car windshields, uh, the vegetation you can see on the trees, there a little bit of glaze on fencing on some sidewalks, still just kind of ponding on the roadways in those spots, but that doesn't mean you couldn't encounter a slick spot or two as you're headed out. So be careful. As we're seeing right now, more and more areas starting to see that changeover from rain to freezing rain. That line, uh, I'm going to point it out right here. Right now, it's basically just starting to peak into the Dallas and Collin County line. Earlier this morning, though, it was west of Tarrant County, so we are starting to see those numbers come down a little. But the good news is, is now that the sun is up, we'll actually see the temperatures come up, and that line shouldn't progress any farther to the east. Little bit of snow popping in here on the radar. Not sure if I'm buying that, but at this point could be seeing some higher elevations, maybe seeing uh, a flurry or two, maybe some sleet too. But for the most part, a lot of pink on this map. That's all freezing rain. Not all of it sticking to the roadways itself, but once again, uh, those side streets, maybe even some uh, pavement uh, as you're headed out the front door this morning on your sidewalk ways. Those could be slick. Stephenville getting a second round here of freezing rain overnight that's pushing through to the north. East. In the Metroplex, though, Tarrant County getting a little bit of a break now. In fact, uh, those rain showers have started to taper off. Dallas, same for you as that continues to move north. All rain to the northeast. Greenville over to towards Wills Point. Seymour, no ice for you this morning. Just a slow, slow, cold rain. Precipitation over the past 24 hours. You can see most of the ice fell off to the southwest. The rest of us seeing anywhere between a tenth and about a quarter of an inch so far with this storm system. It's not over yet, though. We'll see a break as we go throughout the noontime hour. Temperatures once again climbing back up to well above freezing in a comfortable 36 degrees and comfortable not in terms of the weather, but a comfortable buffer between that and 32 up to 37 by 6 p.m. with the showers returning. We do see another peak of rainfall overnight tonight, but it's just cold rain as temperatures remain well above freezing and in fact stay above freezing all night long into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, by the way, you want to tune in yet again. More rain. You know what that means? Slow roadways as well. Getting up to 36 today with an 80 to 90% chance of rain. Better chances as you go farther to the east. Better chances for freezing precip as you go farther to the west. Cold rain for everyone tomorrow, though. 80% chance, 30% as we get towards Friday, or excuse me, Saturday, but only in the morning. Sunshine returns for the weekend, but it's still cold out there.